The next problem is Knight's Tour problem. In this problem, we are given n cross n chessboard and a knight. A knight in chess can move two squares vertically and one square horizontally. Or it can move two squares horizontally and one square vertically in all directions. So this is how a knight can move on the chessboard. Now the problem is we have to make this knight visit every cell of the board exactly once. That is the knight must cover every square and can move to the next square only once. So for this problem we will be actually given n cross n matrix similar to n queen's problem filled up with zero. Let's see how we can solve this problem using backtracking. To solve this, let's think of the four elements again in context of this problem. First is the choices. As we saw, we have maximum eight possible moves for the knight. So the eight moves that this knight can make are these. These are the coordinates for these eight cells where this knight can be placed. So these are the choices. Now the next element is constraints. To validate if we made the right choice, we need to think of the constraints that we have in for the problem. So for this problem, the only constraint is that knight can move a cell only once. The knight here can go to all the possible cells, but not the cell which it has already visited. Other than that, it cannot move out of the matrix. Therefore, the move is valid only when the row and columns are within range and value of the cell is zero. So it cannot be placed at a cell which is already visited and it cannot be placed outside the board. Now the next element is recursion. With choices, you make a decision. And with that decision, you check if you can find a solution or not by making further recursive calls. So we continue to make decisions by making these choices, which were to move in any of these possible direction in this matrix. Knight can move to these eight directions, but if all these choices fails, if going forward, these recursive calls returns false, then we go back to the current stack frame and we undo our decision. This is the backtracking step. And then we go forward with other available choices. So first we place the knight at the current cell and then we decide the next cell recursively. If the choice does not work out, we backtrack and reset the decision or undo our decision. Now the last element is the goal. The goal is to find the path that knight takes to visit each cell exactly once. With that, you get the base condition, which is to complete all the steps n multiplied by n minus one steps. So when the step is 63rd, as we started from zero, we return true and print the solution. All right, let's have a look on the merged code snippet to solve the problem. We loop through every choice and we update the row column as per the choice. Then we apply the constraint. If the selected move is valid, we increment the step and update it on the cell. Then we do make recursive calls by passing the current row column and the step and check if with the move we can achieve the solution. If we cannot achieve the solution, we step back and update the cell again with zero. That's the backtracking move here. And at last we reach to our goal, which is the last step. So this is how we can achieve the solution. One thing to address here is that we will update the row and column as per the coordinates that we saw in the choices. To go through each choice, we will take two arrays having row and column path coordinates. By iterating through these arrays, we will make choice and solve the problem. So let's get started. 
Now let's analyze the complexity of night two problem. So for this problem, we have maximum eight choices to make from every cell, right? And there are total n square cells in this board. So we can say that the worst case runtime will be eight raised to power n square. So it's order of eight raised to power n square. Now for space complexity, in worst case, the function can get cold for n rows and n columns at a time. That means the call stack may have n square recursive calls at a point in time. So the space complexity is order of n square. 